Hey doll faces, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Prissy Chrissy here and we are back into that glam, okay? Makeup time, let's go, okay? I'm feeling so good about this look, regardless of what, you know, we may be going to do which is going to wash this back off when I'm done. But it's just a matter of me just getting dressed up and getting glam with you dolls and also hopefully teaching you some things as well, some tricks. And if you have some tricks to teach me, drop them in the comments because I'm here and open. I'm always a student of makeup. I love it. It, it gets me so excited. Like I'm so enthused about makeup. Make sure you stay tuned and stay up to date with me on my videos by making sure you hit that bell notification, okay? Please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Drop me some love in the comments. I can't wait to get into this look with you dolls, okay? Stay tuned, because it's about to get real juicy, okay? Mm. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into this look, dolls, and this is what we got beforehand. And what we're gonna be getting into in the end is gonna be a whole different ordeal, honey. I've already washed my face, toned, and moisturized. I am gonna go in with this Hydro Essence Water Bank. I'm just doing a few squirts. You're trying to say young honey. So let's just do a little color correcting. Mostly under my under eye here. Next I'm gonna take a little damp mini beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this out. I know I look crazy right now, okay? But trust me, <laughs> it's gonna all work itself out. It's always a crazy part to what it looks like before. But when it comes together, honey, honey, you're not gonna be feeling this way, all right? You're gonna be in that mirror feeling yourself, okay? Feeling yourself. So now that I have my color correction done, I'm gonna dust it and set it with just a light powder. And this is the Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna go very lightly, okay? I just don't want it to bleed through and I want it to kind of stay in place. Normally I would start my look with my eyebrows after I've done my color correcting and my priming and things like that. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit differently and put my foundation on and my concealer on so that way like I could really get into my contour and go up into my brows without messing up my brows. So we're gonna try this trick here and see if this works for me. We're gonna be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me and this is in the shade 228 Soft Tan Bronze. So to apply my foundation, I'm gonna be using my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. And it's nice and fluffy, but very, it's not very dense. Lord have mercy. Normally I'd be so nervous putting foundation on the back of my hand because like one, I do like to warm up the formula and things like that. However, I always feel like I'm just a clumsy person. Like right now I wanna touch my shirt and I know I've gotten things on my hands since I started. I'm gonna go in with this foundation. It's on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna start at my jawline. I'm just buffing this in. I know I'm looking a little warm right now, I'm bronzed up, but trust me, okay? The winter months are <laughs> the time frame where I lose my color the most, and I'm just trying to bring it back to my face in the warmthness. Okay? okay, so now that we have our foundation on, and I went in with my Camel Beauty Blender by e.l.f., and I just kind of pressed it all into my face. Next, we're gonna go in with our concealer. I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the color medium. I'm gonna start here, come down a little bit, and the rest is gonna expand out as I blend it out. But what I like to do is when I put my concealer on, I like to let it sit for at least one to three minutes, maybe mostly, and it's gonna blend out and not fan out as much. A little bit down here underneath the nose. Looks a little crazy, I know, but listen, this look is gonna come together, honey, all right? So I'm gonna take the same beauty blender. I'm just gonna flip it over to the other side so you'll see this dirty side, but this is the cleaner side, okay? And I'm going to pinch it so that I can get really good up in here. And I like to bring it up the side of my nose some so that I can create like a natural contour or even though I am still gonna contour, I just like to create a little natural line, if you can see it, like a little shadow. And I'm not gonna take it all the way out to here, I'm gonna literally stop right here in this area. Look, just look at the difference, okay? I don't know about y'all, but the most hype part for me is when I get to my contour. I feel like everything comes together and I'm praying that it comes out very good as I want it to, okay? Check me out, boo, check me out. 
Mm. So while that is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my contour. And for my contour, I am, this is like my holy grail, okay? Like I keep at least two or three of these in the back up. So let's get into this contour. It looks a little crazy. <laughs> I probably went overboard just now on the contour of my forehead. I'm gonna be blending out my contour with this Real Techniques. It gets really good in that area and just hug it into my cheek line and keeping it more precise. So I don't really like to use a really big fluffy brush when I'm using a cream contour, okay? See how the face is just starting to warm up. I like to blend out my nose with a fluffy brush. Um, not that it's too big, but you know, this is like my favorite blending brush for my nose. And because my eyebrows are not done, I can literally take it all the way up into my brow area. So I like to bring it and fan it out literally right underneath my brows right here. Just like to come back in with my beauty blender and press it in so that again, like I don't have that harshness on my nose. So before I set my under eye, I like to go in with Soft Focus by MAC. It's just like a nice mellow, setting powder. I just like to sweep this all over my face. It just really gives it a nice finish. Like So next, now that we have set our whole entire face, we have our foundation on, we have our concealer, we haven't done our brows yet, we're gonna set our under eyes so that we can go right into our eyeshadow look that we're gonna be getting into. I'm gonna take my Sacha Buttercup. I'm gonna take some underneath my jawline right here. So carving out right underneath my contour, okay? So while we are letting our face bake and everything set in with our concealer foundation that we just put on, we're gonna go in with the Soft Culture Palette. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And this baby is very pretty. It's very neutral colors in here, but also some bold pops of color. I'm gonna be playing in the greens because I never really play in greens, but I really think that with my eye color and the look that I wanna go for, it's gonna be very, very pretty. Before I go into that though, I wanna set like my overall eye as it's kinda of like a very neutral color close to my color here. And I think I'm gonna go in with these two or maybe this one right here. This is the Nature Glow 350 palette. I'm gonna go in with Destiny first, this color right here. I'm gonna tilt my head back, go down to a smaller brush, I'm sorry, with Destiny. And I'm just gonna stamp where I want this to go, creating the windshield wiper motion and bringing it up to fan it above the crease. And I like to start off with a little bit and bring it all the way in to my nose line, okay? I'd rather have something I can build up than to worry about having to take off. Okay, and fan this out just a little bit. So it's pretty soft, natural. I just can't get with it yet because I don't have my eyebrows on. So blending out my first layer of the Destiny from the Subculture Palette. It's turning out to be pretty dark, which is making me a little nervous, but hey, I mean, I'm gonna just keep rolling with it at this point and we just gonna see what we grow out to be. I'm gonna go in with a smudge brush to kind of get a little bit more detail and I'm gonna go in with the color Untamed. I'm gonna stamp it right where I want it to be. See what we just did? I feel like I'm getting hot a little bit trying to do this look. I'm trying to make it as even as possible. Okay, so to kind of make sure I stay right here in this area that I just applied my little stamp and I have these three brushes but I think I'm gonna start with this one right here, which is a dome shape, kind of nice precision brush to see if I can try to fan it out that way. I think this is gonna do the trick, y'all. Uh, wherever I go out too far, I just like to come back in with my foundation brush that I use because it is still some product left on it and just soften it up right here. I think I figured it out. Not doing my eyebrows first is not for me. So before I go ham and going crazy and all that, I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this crease out, okay? Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and did my cut crease because I cannot focus on that and doing it in front of the camera yet. I really need to be like all in to the mirror to get my cut crease as even as possible. So I think I did pretty good for this green look now. What I did as well is when I cut my cut crease, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer that I originally used to prime my whole eyelid to just create this cut crease. So it may look like a light tint of a green on it, but that's because we have the green shadow on, okay? And I used this flat brush right here, okay? So a really nice, good precision brush. Now to finish off my eyeshadow look, I want to use just like a neutral tone right here. I'm using the Make It Last Matte Finish Setting Spray that I normally use, and I'm just wanting to wet my brush. I'm gonna do both sides. This one right here for a little bit of sheen to it. I'm going right over where I put the primer. Mmm. 
we got some coming together we got action we got action okay let's not forget once these brows go on i feel like i feel a whole lot better about this look okay okay so before i go any further into the eyeshadow i'm gonna go into my brows because i just can't deal i do want to show you guys this final step that i do because it is way different from what i used to do now this right here is the key okay Glossier brow flick pen in the color brown. So it gives you a hair like stroke with a brow flick pen, okay? And just a few more here in the front. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my under eye, set my face, and then also add my highlighter. So let's jump right into these few items. I'm gonna speed this part of the video up. We're gonna go in with the highlighter and the South Sea of Beverly Hills and Reezy, okay? Reezy Riders all day. <laughs> I love her. Some days I just like that really matte look and then other days I'm just all for all this highlight, okay? I want everything to be glowing. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> now let's finish off this look with some lashes and we're gonna be going in with the Lily Lashes Miami Flare. Okay, so I had to go and get my hair together, okay? Because that little hairband was not doing it anymore, okay? But we are coming together, the look is coming together, I'm feeling it more. So the biggest point that I wanna make sure that everybody gets from this video, right, is that like makeup is fun. Makeup is supposed to be experimental. Makeup is supposed to be creative. Makeup is supposed to be an enhancer, right? So we should all, you know, utilize what we feel like makes us feel good. So at the end of all this, even if you feel like the makeup look didn't come together all the way or it's not perfect or it doesn't look like the person that you were inspired by, I mean, it's still it matters that you did it you put the effort in and you made it count you know for yourself so please always give yourself credit give yourself grace give yourself love okay because I mean nobody's perfect in this world because let me tell y'all this video has died several times you know I'm just keeping it funky all right I had to do my cut crease off a of camera I had to do my eyebrows off a of camera so just little things like that look at this look at this my <sighs> okay I spoke too soon okay y'all I spoke too soon so I'm gonna let this dry before I get it off with this spoolie okay so best way to get off mascara that you don't want anywhere besides your lashes is to use a spoolie like a clean spoolie if you have one and just let it dry and just flick it off when you start feeling yourself I mean anything goes okay <laughs> this will be getting daughter for it to be yourself I think I'm good with this. And this is Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip stain. And because I do like a matte lip sometimes, but not today because I have the highlight going on, I have the brightness from my cut crease, you know, and then the green, I wanna kinda pull it together with a little bit of gloss as well. And this is the final look, y'all, okay? So we got our green cut crease did my best and i feel good about it okay so say what you want hype me up if you want but i feel good about it okay letting down my curls so this can frame my face really well okay get a little volume going <laughs> and if you want to check out how i install my clip-ins I do have a video on that and I will be dropping that in the description down below if you wanna go and check that out. And I also have a video on doing my lashes, so please make sure you check that out as well. I love this look and how it came together, dolls, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well and learned something with me. I'm not gonna stop messing with my hair now. Thank you so much, dolls, for staying tuned with me all this time. I hope by the time or this point of the video, you've already pressed the subscribe button and you are part of my family on here, okay? I want to keep coming with these makeup videos with you. Of course, I'm going to continue with the episodes of Styling on a Budget because, I mean, we got to keep them coins in our pocket as well, okay? Please drop me some love in the comments. Hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and share this video. Thank you so much, doll faces. Until the next time, be prissy for the love of glam. Mmm. -hmm.